Well, this is the twins. Um, one of them's a known working engine, the other one's unknown. So we're going to do compression tests and see if the spark plugs are working. And we'll maybe get them started. Let's crack on. Um, first things first. Get the cover off this one. And uh, I bought a new thing, a uh, spark plug, inline spark plug thing. So you can see the spark. It doesn't come out in camera very well, so I'll help you with that in a minute. Um, but we'll put that on, and that'll be the first thing we'll check. It's as easy as this to put on, you just put it in the line. You get around. See, it's sparked. Alright, there are no real sparks. High point. You have no green fire. But yeah, that's working fine. You just kind of see the sparks very well on the screen. To be honest, you kind of see the sparks very well when you're actually pulling the cord because it moves around a lot. So now that we've done that, I'll get the spark plug out, I'll try to do it left handed, and then I'll realise I'm a dumbass, can't do it left handed. Now I'll walk around the camera, do do do. Oh, there I am. And we'll do it right handed, because I'm right handed, I've got more strength than my right hand. So I'll just get the spark plug out. Here we go. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's a bit oily. They always are in these two strokes. So, I'm going to show you this compression kit, testing kit, that was like 15 quid for Amazon or something. Cheap, cheap. Right, now you just put the right, correct size nozzle in the spark plug hole. So here we go, I'll try it left on it again. Well, I've never learned for the last time. Okay, now we'll try right on it. It turns out my fingers don't fit in the hole. So, new plan, attach the hose first. So, <coughs> right, let's get that done. See, I'm getting better at this. I remember to walk around the camera now instead of walking in front of you. There we go, just wind that in there. Yeah, gauge attached. That. Try and prop it up so you can see it. Kind of guarantee you're going in though. And I'll get it done now. I'll get seven spins of the wheel, seven pulls of the cord if you like. And we've got just under 100 psi. Okay, so that's good. I'm sure that's about right. Get another crack anyway. Unless I can get the, the gauge to set up properly. seven spins. It's the same amount of spins so I can work out if it's the right amount. I don't know if you do more spins if it gets mere. But that'll do. So we get that one put the back together again. Here's twin number two. Um, so this one I've never heard running. I've got a theory about that. I'll maybe share it with you in a bit. But um, I tried to get it running before and it didn't go. So we're going to do the same things on this as I've tested to make sure everything works on the working engine and do the same things on this. So uh, test the spark. Same again, we see the sparks. Yep, there we go, sorted. So I've definitely got a spark. So 
it's always a good start, isn't it? You need to spark the day. Let's have a um, spark plug out. Spark plug, I never forgot what it was called then. Yeah, get this other spark plug out. And uh, then get the compression testing kit on it. This is a bit that would be really interesting because it tells you whether the engine's goosed or not. So, learned for the last time. Kept on the tube this time. Straight in. No bother. So, here we go, we have seven tons of the cord. Seven tons of the cord. Oh, that's cracking. We've actually got over 100 this time. Went to compression. Set one more time just to check. As you do. And here we go. Tells the tail, that's over a hundred as well. So we can get that back apart. And we know the spark plug's good and we've got good compression. Result. Proper result to be fair. I thought we might get nothing on that. I thought I might be stripping it down for spare parts. So here we go. Let's get the spark plug back in. Right, go on Chris, get in there. Yeah, there you bother. It's in the same thing. First you don't succeed, try, try again. Get up and tame up, nip up. Oh, too tight. And you may as well check the spark while you're at it. Before you put it all back together again. Sparking again, no bother. There we go. So, right, let's get some more. This is the bucket of yuck. This bucket's been in my garden for over a year with the same water in it. So you can imagine what that one's like with all the oil and petrol that's going in there. I should probably change it. But I'm just lazy, I guess. I mean, that's a reoccurring theme with me, to be fair. So, believe it or not, I'm just putting there, getting some fuel. I'm still on the 125 mix. I'm sure it's 125. Because I was still running in my other engine, so that's what's going in here. And that's the right amount. So let's give this one another crack then. And I had a wee tinker about the things, change the timing and stuff in between this on this video, so hopefully it will start. So there we go. I'm going to start right away. There we are, running fine. So I told you I had a theory about this engine, and I think the theory is I just didn't try hard enough to start in the first place. It wasn't running, so I put it back in the box, ready to send back, and they never came to collect it. So hey ho. I've got two working engines now. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with two engines. Oh, I need one, but never mind. Um, well, I hope this was a good video for you. I showed you compression and stuff. Right, you Cheerio then. Remember to enter the draw. Details are on the screen now. Um, have a good time sailing. I hope this video helped, as usual, and maybe it was entertaining to somebody. Cheers. Thank you.